Good morning, everyone. Good to see you guys again. Um, we've had a, a really good summer, good summer of work by our guys. Um, really excited about our off season, uh, what we've been able to do um, throughout the draft, free agency trade, and um, we're really excited to to get this thing going on uh, Monday. So um, happy to answer any questions. If you have a question, please raise your hand. All right, and we'll get started today with Sean Cunningham. What's up, Monty? Good to see you. Hey, Sean. How, um, just overall, when you look at just the way this team looks, I think on paper, I, some might say that it's very similar to what last season uh, roster was. Just um, what is the confidence level? I know it's probably always an evolving uh, process for you, but just uh, what overall is the confidence in that you have in this group that's put together? Yeah, I think um, we're, we're certainly excited that we were able to bring back some of our key pieces, um, you know, whether it was Rashawn uh, re-signing or, um, you know, Terrence and Bo, who we were we were able to get at the trade deadline. Um, but also uh, welcome back Alex Len, um, who provided a big presence for us inside. And then and then certainly uh, in the draft and what we've seen of Davion. Uh, as well as uh, Namias so far. So I think, um, you know, we've added some good pieces and, and kept really the core intact. And, and also uh, we'll be able, to, be able to see maybe what we didn't see a lot of at the end of last year uh, where we weren't fully healthy uh, with our trade deadline acquisitions. So um, really excited to see it on Monday. And then just, you know, from your own, I guess, mirth and amusement, I mean, how much, how amusing was the offseason seeing you, you and your team kind of just linked to so many different things yeah we're we're, uh we're always active and and, uh just you know doing our jobs and and see what's out there but um you know we we also like we talked about we got to stay disciplined and um we're really excited about the core that we have here so um you know we're we're looking forward to to seeing them out on the floor and in action hands please anyone hands thank you james ham Hey, Monty, how are you? I'm good, James. How are you? Good. Hey, um, just with the way that your roster is currently constructed, it does need some balancing, it feels like. Do you still have uh, some thoughts uh, of moving this thing around a bit, or is this kind of what you're going to go with going into the season? No, this is um, – yeah, this is going to be our team going in. Um, you know, I, I get may, maybe from a traditional – standpoint but i i look at our roster and i see a lot of versatility guys that can slide slide up slide down um and really give us different looks so um talking with luke you know i think we're excited about the possibilities of of different lineups how we can match up to different situations so um you know i I think we have uh actually pretty good roster balance um in the sense of maybe not traditional thinking but like we can you know, defensively shooting, uh, ball handling. I think we can put a lot of different lineups out there to match up however we need. And just from a, from a general manager standpoint, what is your sort of the way that you handle summers like this, where trade rumors with specific players were going nonstop? Um, do you pull them aside right before camp and, and just have like a, a long conversation about how we move forward or do you just let it play out and let Luke handle some of that? No, we're, um, you know, I in particular am, am in constant communication with our guys just throughout the entire summer, all of them. And um, so, you know, we, we handle that, um, you know, between them and, and their agents as needed. But, um, yeah, we, we talk to them uh, regardless of what's going on, just to stay on stay on top, see how they're doing. Um, certainly a lot of our guys were, were in market for a, a large portion of the summer, which uh, was fun to see as well. Jason Anderson. Hey, Monty, good to see you this morning. Thank you for your time, sir. Um, hey, Jason. You, you know, you guys have been linked to a lot of trade talks uh, through the summer, and um, it, it does seem like you were close on a number of deals. Has, you know, this experience kind of reinforced or taught you something new about just how difficult uh, these kind of deals can be to, to get done in the NBA? I think it was, a, you know, an, an off-season uh you know, a pretty normal off season. This is the type of all, all the things that we experienced are, are pretty normal. And uh, ultimately I think we ended up uh, in a fantastic spot with, with where our roster's at. And um, so right now we're just focused on, on seeing them on the floor together. Okay. Um, 
how how will you evaluate Luke and his work this season? And what are your expectations? Uh, what do you hope to see from him um, in terms of his performance and, and the team's performance as well? Luke, uh, along with with Rico Hines, our head of player development, um, you know, really put together an uh, uh, an awesome off season summer plan. Um, we had our guys in Sacramento. Uh, our guys got together in LA for a few weeks, um, and really, we've seen an incredible improvement physically as well as you know skill wise on the basketball court. Um, obviously we have some fresh faces as well, um, on our coaching staff. So excited to see them integrate and they've already done a great job. Luke's done a great job kind of bringing his group together. Um, and so again, we're just excited to see it. Go to Jason Jones. Hey, Monty, what's going on? How you doing, Jason? Doing all right. Uh, first. With the play-in tournament being back again and, you know, the idea of the top 10 teams having a chance now, does that that alter the view or maybe the goals of teams in the offseason? Just because a couple of years ago, if you in the top, you know, if you're going to be 10th, that didn't really – there's no chance at the postseason. So did that give maybe a bigger uh, window or make teams uh, like yourselves a little more aggressive knowing that top 10 can get you into the postseason? I don't think necessarily, um, you know, we certainly have the goals that we've set, but, you know, at this point it's, it's all about, you know, what can we do uh, in the immediate term to, to get there. And that's why right now we're focused on, on training camp. I think that would be the same regardless of, of what that kind of setup was at the end, but, um, but yeah, it does continue to give different, um, you know, tiers of goals for teams to get into the top six, the top eight, the top 10, uh, which, you know, I think is nice at the end of the year. But for us, um, I think the the current, like, immediate near term is going to be the same. And when, and being able to bring guys like Mo back, bring Rashawn back, and you know, get guys returning, the Kings haven't always been successful at getting, you know, keep retaining guys in the last, you know, 10 plus 15 years. Just what were the conversations and what did you hear from guys like that and guys like, you know, and Alex Lynn, who had been gone for a year that made them say, hey, we want to go ahead and come back and, you know, try to keep this thing in the right direction. Certainly a big credit to, to Luke and, and his staff. Um, guys want to play for him. Uh, like you said, Alex, even after a year away, coming back, um, Rashawn, a huge part of, of what we're doing, um, you know, re-upping on a, on a, on a big deal. Uh, Mo, who is here for just a half season, but um, really kind of ingratiated himself with uh, especially the young guys with a, a little bit of a veteran presence and, and wanting to continue that. Um, I think it's great to see and, um, you know, add, add to that, uh, um, you know, certainly De'Aaron last year extending and, and Tyrese and, and Davion and all their comments. Um, I, I think it's a testament to what Luke uh, and I and, and the whole staff right here is building. Go back to Sean Cunningham. Yeah, as it um, pertains to Davion, um, so with the summer league title under his belt, um, I don't know if that necessarily uh, accelerated maybe some of the things you were seeing, but it, did it exceed any expectations, not only seeing that title, but maybe seeing what maybe he would be able to produce in a, in a rookie season? We certainly had uh, high expectations for Davion, as we talked about on draft night, but um, yeah, we, we love to see it. In action, um, as we talked about, Dave, Davion has won at every level he's been at, fresh off a, a national championship at Baylor, and uh, to come in and and you know spearhead a summer league championship, um, you know, a testament to to Bobby Jackson and his staff, uh, but also Davion. I think what he does is is infectious and contagious, and seeing um, not just him, but you know, Jamias Ramsey and Lewis King and Chemezi Metu and. Uh, you know, Namias coming in, Robert Woodard, like those guys uh, really step up and, and lead us with defense first um, to the title. I thought was um, exciting to see. And Davion was obviously a huge part of that. And because of, you know, what he brings on the defensive end, and it seems like every move you made this offseason kind of had defense in mind. Do you feel like you have done enough in that department? Um, and, and just what have you made of just kind of trying to, you know, at least moving up from where you guys were last year defensively? It, yeah, it was our goal uh, going in to, 
to add depth and add defense. Um, and, you know, that's a lens we looked through. It wasn't the only one, but certainly a lot of our moves, um, whether it was uh, re-signing, uh, you know, Mo or, or getting Alex Len or drafting Davy on all those things will, will certainly tie into to helping our defense. And I think uh, looking up and down our roster, um, more size, um, you know, more defensive acumen. And I think other guys that are, have improved and continue to, will, uh, will continue to take steps on that end. And, um, you know, I think Luke and, and, uh, Mike Longobardi and, and the rest of the coaching staff will continue to, um, you know, raise that level on that end and, and we'll need to. Go to Crystal Salton. Hello, Mr. McNair. Thank you for your time. Uh, from your perspective, what did you what do you like most on this group of guys about this season, and what is your uh, main expectation, and what is the ceiling of that group? So far, I think what I've liked the most uh, is like the versatility of of our entire roster, um, seeing different combinations, um, you know, out there, and, and envisioning even others that we can try. Um, you know, I think, uh, at least compared to last year, we have a lot of, um, you know, kind of tools in the tool belt that, that Luke can do, whether he needs to match up smaller, bigger, more offense, more defense. Um, you know, I, I think the, the versatility of the roster, not just positionally, but skill set wise, um, is really interesting. And this team has 16 years not to play in the playoffs. How hungry you are this season to make a playoff spot? Yeah, we certainly uh, know that and acknowledge that. Um, but again, we we can't just snap our fingers and get there. And so uh, right now with training camp looming around the corner, it's a narrow focus. Uh, Luke and his staff have already been prepping to to get the guys going next week. And, and it's what can we do, you know, what can we do in the near term? What can we do on day one uh, and continue that into day two, three, et cetera. Um, but that's that's really the focus one step at a time. Uh, go back to Jason Anderson. Yeah, Monty, a couple more. Uh, Davion, uh, we were talking with Tyrese last week, and uh, Ty said you guys have already had to throw him, uh, throw Davion out of the gym. Uh, it seems like he lives there. Is that is that accurate? Have you guys actually had to tell him, look, you know, take a break, uh, go home, get some rest once in a while? <laughs> with uh well i think you guys are seeing what uh what we loved about davion in the draft um his work ethic is incredible um and that's something that we're just going to continue to to feed not just for for him but like i said how it rubs off on everybody else so um so no we want davion in the gym we want davion continuing to do what he does uh and really you know we'll just fine tune it and get him uh, get him to a point where where he's doing that for for 82 games and hopefully more. Okay. Um, you know, last year when you came in and a lot of these guys came in, uh, the, the COVID situation made it difficult uh, for you guys even to be in the gym together all at one time. What? How different is it uh, now? Um, and, and, you know, how beneficial is that going to be in terms of this team getting prepared for the season? We're certainly still still dealing with uh, COVID, um, but the league's done a great job. We'll continue to partner with them. Um, last year, we were able to get through uh, the season, and um, you know, I think for our guys, having gone through that, uh, we'll be prepared and uh, and ready to roll. James Ham. Yeah, Monty, coming into last season, depth was such a huge issue. Do you think that you, between uh, the trade deadline and the draft and free agency and everything else, do you think you adequately stocked up and have the depth that you need going into this season? Yeah, we think so. Um, as we look at it, uh, we, we have a, a really good mix of veterans as well as uh, some younger guys that, that, as we saw in Summer League, um, you know, can step up and um, – you know, hopefully help us uh, as needed. And, you know, as Luke and I have said, whoever, whoever can step on the floor and help us win is who's going to play. And, um, you know, we're, whether it's injuries or uh, whatever that night, that opponent, that, um, you know, that game brings out, uh, we think we have the guys that can do that, hopefully one to 17. So, um, you know, hopefully uh, it'll be able to manifest itself uh, how we think it will. 
And with the, the issues in Minnesota over the last few days, there are rumors that you guys may have picked up uh, another front office personnel person. Is that accurate? And can you confirm any of that? Yeah, un- unrelated, but we were able to add, um, you know, Sagar Sarin, who uh, uh, had we had worked together in, in Houston, and he'll be joining our scouting staff. All right, back to Sean. Yeah, sorry, just one more for me. Um, just with, you know, with obviously the expectation of making the playoffs and the play-in tournament, is it feasible to have any monicum of success or meet expectations falling short of the playoffs this season? Certainly that's our, our kind of end goal, but, you know, the goal is just uh, what you do. And then you got to, you got to set your, you know, your journey. And, and like we talked about, we got to start and take care of what we can take care of, obviously control what we can control. And that, you know, really is what next week is going to start. So uh, for us, we think as long as we are more consistent this year, that's a big thing. Uh, We're going to compete every night. We have to do that night in, night out. Uh, we have to improve our defense. We do those things. We think the wins will follow and everything else will take care of itself. So um, we're, we're focused much more narrow focus on uh, what we can control uh, today and tomorrow. All right, Jason Jones. Yeah, Monty, I just realized we hadn't talked to you during the summer. So I hadn't, we hadn't asked you about Tristan Thompson. That was a move that maybe some, some people kind of thought was a kind of a head scratch with just adding another big, but what do you see from, that he can add and how do you uh, envision Luke using him as a veteran, big a guy who's been around winning and probably has has an understanding of, you know, champion. He does have an understanding of championship level defense. Yeah. I think Tristan uh, brings not just versatility, the ability to play both big spots, but um, you know, a championship pedigree, we want to continue to, like I say, not just balance our roster in maybe a positional sense, but, uh, with experiences and, you know, Tristan's one of the best offensive rebounders in the game. He has found a way to make himself uh, an impact player at many different stops. And we think he'll bring that, bring that here, both, both uh, when he's on the floor, as well as, you know, with some of our younger guys teaching them uh, how to succeed in this league. And you've talked about the, you know, interchangeable player, a lot of the flexibility you have, but when, when you look at the front court with some of the bigs, do you see situations potentially where a guy like Rashawn maybe can play for because you have some more some more size behind him and maybe help him as far as you know wear and tear and, and even foul situations now that you are a bigger team in that regard? Certainly, I think I think we'll have options there, um, and and you know some of our guys. Rico's done a great job. Um, you know we don't we don't cut off any guy's development and. Um, whether it's Damian Jones or uh, Alex Len or others, you know, who can, if they can shoot the three, if they can uh, play make from, from the outside, you know, maybe we can play um, two bigs together. That's going to be up to Luke and how he sees it. But, um, you know, I think he's got, he's excited about the different matchups, different things he can do. And uh, I do think our guys, while again, they may occupy the same one to five position, um, you know, have very different skill sets and, and can complement each other uh, on the floor. I would just do a couple more. Crystal Salt is back to you. Yes, Mr. McNair, one more for me. Uh, with De'Aaron, Tyrese, and Davion, the same team in the three-guard lineup, how excited you are not only about this uh, season, but about the future of that organization with those three guys? Yeah, they. Uh, um, we, we've already seen them out there together and uh, playing against each other and pushing each other. Um, again, I think those three guys, their personalities complement each other and their games complement each other. And, um, you know, I think in the way the NBA is played these days, no reason that, that those guys can't be out there, um, you know, be incredible on defense and of course uh, score the ball on offense. So um, excited to see how, how they work together uh, even more as camp starts. There we go. Last one, Carmichael Dave. Hey Monty. Uh, you know, when you came on the scene last year, one of the things you talked about was in addition to adding talent piece by piece to maintaining or creating flexibility for opportunities as they presented themselves small and big. And I'm curious in your mind, looking at the whole situation, roster cap, et cetera, now, as opposed to a year ago, 
do you think you have as much more or less, where do you think that flexibility stands today? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the same or more. And uh, we really like, uh, as I mentioned earlier answer, we like our roster one to 17. And, um, you know, we think we have, we have guys who can obviously help now guys who are continuing to grow. Um, even guys like, uh, like Harrison, who probably had a career year last year, uh, you know, as he's, you know, seven, what is he, nine, 10 years into the league. Um, you know, so not just our young guys that can, that can continue to improve. So, um, yeah, I think we're, we're in a great spot with the talent we have and, and what we can do going forward. And, and, uh, like I said, we're ready to hit the ground running on Monday.